Chapter 3. Eight little sailor boys traveling in Devon. One said he'd stay there, and then there were seven. Rogers didn't let his wife's death get in the way of his custodial duties. I assume everyone has gone off on their own pursuits. I should do the same. Eight little sailor boys. The plot thickens. I asked Rogers what this Miss Brady had suffered from. In a certain form of cardiac trouble, when an attack comes on, an ampule of amyl nitrate is broken and inhaled. If amyl nitrate were withheld... I see. No positive action must be taken. No arsenic to obtain and administer. Nothing definite at all. And nothing could be proved against Rogers or his wife. It explains our situation here quite neatly. There are crimes that cannot be brought home to their perpetrators by the usual methods. A judge taking advantage of his position? No offense, judge. A doctor under the influence letting a scalpel slip? No offense, doctor. The point is, it explains Mr. Unknown. He has, for reasons only he knows, decided to seek justice for certain crimes as he sees them. And who among us is the only one that stands unaccused? Ah, Mr. Narakot, right on cue. Have you seen any of the others? I believe Mr. Bloor and Mr. Lombard are off searching the island for Mr. Owen. You didn't want to join them? They are men accustomed to physical activity. I prefer to search for the truth with my mind. Me too. You think they'll find Mr. Owen? Not in the sense you mean. Where would you search for Mr. Owen? Closer to home. Any idea how we can get off the island? I've allowed you to continue your own investigations, Mr. Narakot, because I disagree that being the odd man out makes you more suspect. On the contrary. But I've given you a good deal of advice already. It would be well if you thought for yourself for a while and let us get on with our game. What were you hinting at concerning Marston's politics? Only that he'd become mixed up with some foreigners. I think that's all I'd better say at present. Good day to you, Judge. Have you seen any of the others? Before we came in here, I saw Miss Brent knitting on the patio as if she hadn't a care in the world. Could you perform an autopsy on Mrs. Rogers? I could, sir, but I won't. As Mr. Lombard so helpfully pointed out, it might be thought I had something to do with her death. It would be unethical for me to operate. How much trionol is missing from your supply? I wouldn't know. I left the bottle with Rogers in case his wife required a second draft. Thank you for your time, Doctor. Nice to have a break in the weather, although I don't expect it will last. You don't seem concerned by the two deaths. I remember a text that hung in my nursery as a child. Be sure thy sin will find thee out. So in some way, Marston's and Mrs. Rogers' sins have found them out? Of course. I have nothing to fear. I've committed no sin. You, if your story is true, have only been protecting your brother. God's law understands such a loving gesture, even if man's law does not. What are you knitting? A shawl for my niece. It's quite subdued for a girl, isn't it? A man would say that, of course. She is a modest child, and decent. These colors are most appropriate. Have you seen Rogers? He's in the kitchen, I think, preparing a cold supper. Thank you, Miss Brett. I can't walk around carrying an axe. They'll lock me up. 
or worse. Let me examine this further. Generator seems to be working fine. Maybe Owen has wings and is perched someplace we can't reach. Or swimming around out there with the fish. You think you'll find Owen? If he's here, we'll find him. Why don't you split up? I suggested that. The island isn't that big. I felt it was good to stick together to be sure every inch has been covered. Have you seen Vera? Miss Claythorne was up on Ship Rock when we searched up there. Have you seen the General? He was down on that little beach to the south of Ship Rock. He was definitely Gaga, if you ask me. Like he was in a trance, talking to his wife, asking her forgiveness. Creepy. He sent that Richmond fellow to his death for playing up to the missus. Make no mistake about that. You look tired. Miss Claythorne's concern for my well-being moves me far more than yours, Narakart. But thanks all the same. Any conclusions? Only that I'm damn glad I brought this along. You have a gun? Why didn't you say something? I would have used it if necessary. Still, I don't like it very much. Well, I don't care very much. Any idea how we can get off the island? When I was... well, a friend of mine, actually. When he was in the army, he saw a new parachute design that allowed you to steer. If you like, I can draw you a plan to construct a parachute like the one he saw. That would be splendid. Thank you. One parachute per order. It's pretty crude, but I think you'll get the idea. I added a list of materials, too. Thanks. Thank you, Lombard. It's Lombard's plan for building a parachute. I'll copy it into my notebook. That cliff is surely the highest point on the island. The waves are crashing here with particular violence. Nice peaceful spot you found for yourself, sir. There is so little time. So little time. I'm making a tour of the island, so to speak. Quite the adventurer, aren't you? Have you seen anything that might be useful to us? You don't understand. You don't understand at all. I'm not sorry I came here. Oh, it was time. I'm content at last. It feels very strange to come to the end, not have to go on. I know now I will never leave. That's peace, real peace. Thank you, General. as if I could almost jump across and leave this island behind me. I'd hate for you to jump, Miss Claythorne. I'd miss you. I think I'd miss you too. 
Think someone on shore could see us? If they used a telescope like the one on the patio outside my room, I expect they might. What do you think of Lombard? I think he's like last night's storm. Dark and wild and possibly dangerous. But you like him even so? I love storms. I'm sorry the job here didn't work out for you. It was only temporary. I want to be a teacher, not a secretary. I want another chance to teach more than anything in the world. Could you help me sew these sheets together to make a parachute? Better ask Miss Brent. She's placed herself in charge. Have you ever been in love? I thought I was. I thought I could do anything for him. What happened? I'd rather not talk about it, if you don't mind. Tell me about yourself. Mr. Narricott, would you think me terribly rude if I just wanted to stand here and look at the scenery before the next storm closes in? No, I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh, you didn't bother me. Quite the contrary. But now I'd just like to enjoy the scenery. Do the bees first. They'll do me in for sure if I disrupt their artificial home. Not many apples in this orchard. I suppose I'd blame the lack of sun. There are some suitable looking apples up near the top of this tree, but I can't reach them. Goats. They look hungry. This thicket is rife with thorns. I can't get through it. Sunflowers. Odd. It doesn't seem like this island gets much in the way of sun. That goat is a menace. It's an old windmill, impossible to say what it powers, if anything. I heard a click. I could be imagining it though. I think I heard a click. I could be imagining it though. Boxes, nothing of use in them. Boxes, nothing of use in them. This could use a closer look. Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. Britons never will be slaves. Ah, oh, makes the eyes water a bit. It's a shortwave radio. It could be useful if I could get it working. It seems to be missing quite a few parts.
This is neither the time nor the place. It sounds like some fishermen arguing. I need a way to try and contact them. I think I heard a click. I could be imagining it though. Aha! It's open! It looks like there might be a sliding panel here. There's something in this drawer. It's a lone raven-shaped earring. There's something in this drawer. It looks like some sort of microphone. There's something in this drawer. It's a fragment of a document. There's something in this drawer. It's a card with some writing on it. This bears a closer look. This could use a closer look. That swapped the positions of the two drawers. Rule the waves, of course. What's this? A secret door. I'm surprised the electricity still works in here. The water here is rather calm compared to the waves crashing against the rest of this benighted tip. Impossible to tell what was once stored in these barrels. can't get to the bulb. The wire casing is rusted over. This panel seems out of place. There's something here I need. Hello. What do we have here? These timbers are all that stand between me and being buried alive. It's locked fast. Nothing else to see about that. Fascinating. It looks like some kind of single-person submersible. Clearly damaged beyond repair, though.
The water here is rather calm compared to the waves crashing against the rest of this benighted tip. I should have thought of that sooner. Seems so obvious in retrospect. strong. I'd best not try that again. It washed me up on this beach. These houses look like they've been abandoned for quite some time. Better to let the dead rest in peace. Let me examine this further. Hello, can anyone hear me? This is a distress call. Quit meddling. You better keep your head down, Maracol, or I'll lop it right off. What was that? Clearly, Owen does not want me here. I swear this wasn't here before. Must be one of Owen's little games. It opens. There's something inside. I transcribe the pertinent passages in my notebook. Hello, Rogers. Hello, sir. Was there anything you required? Just looking around. That ham looks good. Mrs. Rogers had a way with hams. Baked, boiled, fried, pickled, en casserole. Always a treat. When will dinner be ready? Eight o'clock, sir. Or close to it. Good day to you, Mr. Rogers. It's a press. 
Looks like it can hold quite a large amount of fruit. I need to put something down to filter the pulp. Nice fresh glass of apple juice. I'm half tempted to drink it myself. Apple cider. From the smell, quite potent stuff too. I hope that softens her disposition towards me somewhat. Could you help me sew these sheets together to make a parachute? I suppose I could. There's a sewing kit in the servants' quarters. The needles would work, but I don't think the thread would be strong enough. Are you sure you can't tell me anything more about seeing Miss Claythorne at a hotel near St. Trednick's? I wonder how you heard that. I was staying near the place where that boy Cyril Hamilton's death occurred. Miss Claythorne acted as if she'd never been to the place, but I see no reason to say any more about it. Thank you, Miss Brent. These will work splendidly. No one's hiding in there. I'd stake my reputation on it. I've done some hunting in my day for some very elusive game. If Owen's in that house, he must be invisible. Any luck at all? There's no one on this island except our nine selves. Where haven't you searched? The woodshed. I should have guessed he might be out there. Have you reached any conclusions? Maybe it was just an accident and a suicide. Or two accidents or two suicides for all I know. That'll do, Mr. Bloor. Woodshed is empty. This is a dead end. If Owen's buried under that wood pile, good riddance to him. Have you searched the entire island? Early days yet. Plenty of ground still to cover. That is all for now, Mr. Bloor. The wind is picking up again, and there are white horses on the sea. Has anyone seen the good doctor? Here I am, Judge, just uh, freshening up in my room before dinner. How did your search go, Mr. Lombard? Badly, Judge. I'm afraid I found nothing and lost Mr. Bloor. There's a squall moving in again. Shiprock's become quite windy. Rogers? What is it, man? The figure, sir. The figure's in the middle of the table. Look, now another's gone. There's only seven. It doesn't make sense. What's going on? What's happening? 
We can discuss this new development over dinner. It's ready, Rogers? Uh, yes, sir. It's only cold tongue and cold ham, sir. We understand, Rogers. Where's the general? Last time I saw him was on that beach. You asked me about him, Nerokout. Did you find him there? Yes. Did he say anything to you? His mind was wandering. Perhaps you'd be so good as to fetch the general, Mr. Narakot. We'll delay dinner for you both. No need for that. He's dead. Down there on the beach, leaning against the rock like a stick of driftwood. <laughs> 